Stifflers. Stifler, ask everyone to rate their looks on a scale of one to ten, starting with you. Go ahead. Uh, maybe like a, maybe like a six. Okay. Nine. Seven. Seven. Ten in Jesus' eyes. <laughs> yes, yes. That's like confidence, confidence. Godfidence? Uh -huh. I love like that. Like confidence and God <laughs> yes. merged together. Okay. Yes. We're rating ourselves. Yeah, your your own self assessment of your uh -huh. physical appearance. I think I'm a seven. Okay. Uh yeah, I guess by the world standard, if I'm gonna rate myself after having two children, I'd probably give myself an eight. Ten. I I mean stunning. I'm not where I'd like to <laughs> be. I'm, I'm not sorry. Where I thought it was muted. My bad. What? Huh? What? I mean, I'm not I'm not physically perfect and that's okay. Like I'm humble enough to admit that, right? Oh, yeah. Why okay. are you laughing? Enlighten me. Andrew, why are why are you laughing, Andrew? I'm being are honest. Are you thinking about Andrew, your life, Andrew? Stop. Andrew, it. how dare you? How, how dare? Uh, how 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 old are you? I'm 37. Yeah, was when you were 27, were you a 10? I probably would have rated myself a 10. I looked pretty good. Of course you would have. Yeah. So, I mean, that's the thing, right? Is uh, there's, there is something, uh, and this has been a, something you've been suffering from all night called cognitive dissonance and a uh, inability suffering. to grasp what is reality. There is no fucking universe in which you are an eight. Now, wow. the thing wow. is, oh, is that's, that, harsh, that's not me being mean, even. Beauty I'm just giving you objective eyes. reality. That is an Beauty objective is standard that no, there's nobody on planet Earth who would disagree with that standard. Mm -hmm. Do you want to rate yourself? I'm, I'm, I'd be scared I, to now. No, I would, no. Beauty oh. is different. Than no, I mean, I just think he, he's very just, opinionated. It's, it's, man. It's, it's, uh, I'd say like a five and a half. I'm really no. happy with that. Okay. All right. There you go. I'm a 20, 25, maybe 30. Oh, okay. That's yeah. awesome. I give myself like, a five. I'm a five. Since we're all, since we're all going to be delusional give tonight, I'll just go with the maximum number I can think of. He's going max delusional. Mm -hmm. max. Yeah. max delusional. So and I'm curious. Wait, who's the highest? Who's the highest you're here? You? Ten. Did you say I nine? I think I said a nine. You yes. said you're a nine? I said ten. Thank you. Oh, no, so sorry. Yeah, you said you're a ten. Oh, yeah. Okay. I, I like the poking right. of the bear, so I'll take this one. I said a five and a half. I still that wasn't, have. But I didn't say anything was wrong with your answer. <laughs> you said everyone seems to be delusional, so I was just like, all right, I'm, I'm open to criticism on that one. So. Killing yeah, but do you actually believe you're five and a half? Like, honestly. So if smoking a cig is the same as sucking a peen, then what if the guy with whom the peen is being sucked is smoking a what cig the at the fuck? same time? Is he also <laughs> sucking a peen, or is he smoking a what cigarette? Is, what is this oh, it's all the same, bro. You know, it's all the same. Yeah, if you go rob little old ladies and then beat their brains in on the street, that's God. the same Whoa. as stealing a penny, bro. Come on. Like, use your brain. I don't know what's wrong with you. But anyway, back to this. <laughs> Do you, you honestly think Thank that you uh, that you're a four? So, so I'm a four objectively, right? Maybe, maybe less. I understand that. Like that's that's objective reality. I give you like um, a solid six. But do you really solid are you, are you doing that because it's a humble brag, or are you doing it because it's actual objective reality? Like this is a problem we run into all the time, right? Trying to determine what you actually think, and I think that a lot of women hide their answer. They don't really think that. Sometimes they just try to humble brag. And so I'm just curious, like, is it actually true? Do you really honestly think you're a five? A five and a half? Yeah, I think I'm, I work out. I still have a decent six pack. I don't smoke, like, like physically fit. The reason why, like, I think I'm a little bit lower is like I have scoliosis. So if I'm not holding my posture properly, then, you know, it's, it's not the most, like, I look like I'm slunching over. Um, and, and you and you think that that's an honest answer, right? I think that's an honest, like, Well, again. then let me ask you if you can give me another honest answer. Do you agree with the assessment of the girl who's sitting right next to you who just told us that at 37 she's an eight? I'm not the host of this podcast. Yeah, so you're I don't not going to answer, answer that, that fucking but question, are you? I think, yeah, I, I think didn't think confidence... you were going to answer that. It's all about honesty a second ago, right? Okay, I'll, all right, I'll give because at this point I think, I think your self-love is great. But I think the scales they use in the past of like the most beautiful woman in the world outside of skills and personality, mm -hmm. 
that like an eight is like Angelina Jolie when she was doing the Golden Globes in that dress, yeah. right? Mm. I, I think Should I would only lower it. I, w- I would be a little bit Angelina more, Jolie. Oh my god, like, <laughs> most beautiful woman in the world, yeah. right? So that's why I'm like, okay, like halfway mark, maybe I'll give myself a 0.5 because I've got some good genetics on that. You know, mm-hmm. that's where I went with mine. Yeah. Do you think you're better looking than she is? Me to Angelina Jolie. Yeah. God no. No, no, no. To the chick next to you. <laughs> <laughs> it's all honesty, right? It's all we're all being honest here. Isn't it all about give honesty? Me Everybody my, in this room's better looking. Give me than somebody that's my honest, own that's the age. Because it's hard to compare. Like I can't compare with you. Like it, Well, hey, I thought you just got done saying we have an objective standard. Yeah, you can compare. I think in men's eyes if we were both wearing the exact same outfit and they were going to approach one it's blonde hair blue eyes a little bit younger i think at that point unless the men prefer brunette yeah see it's beauty is on the eye of the beholder Mm -hmm. yeah you know do you I'm think a, that the I'm fact that she's 37 husband, might so also have right. something to do? Do you think maybe the fact that she's 37 might also have something to do with that? And that's like, why I honestly? said, give me somebody who's the same age, and like I'd be yeah. like, yeah, same age, same whatever, cool. But it's like she's she's already had two. She's 37. Like how mm-hmm. like? It, it, it doesn't seem a little bit delusional to you, like a little tiny bit, that that's the answer. Don't you think she looks great? Like, especially like, how old are you again? I'm not saying. Listen, I'm, I'm not saying I'm that. Almost I'm not saying. I'm not like, saying oh anybody God. here looks bad. I'm saying everybody here, that it, as eating. opposed to me especially, is beautiful, great. But that doesn't mean that the standard doesn't exist. She just got done saying there's an objective standard. I'm like, but she can't compare, really. She's like, well, okay, that actually doesn't make any sense. But she's trying to be nice, right? She's trying to be nice. I want to no, nicely she said, do this. No, she said her like, because it's, she said it's, like It's a delusional, man right? Come on, it's delusional. You know, you know what it don't, is. I Just honestly don't care what you think I rate as because I am a 10 to my husband and I'm married. I'm not on the market. I never will be on the market. So it honestly doesn't matter. And you matter. should be a 10 to your husband. Great. I'm sure my wife thinks I'm a 10 to, but I'm fucking not. So the thing is, it's like, great. I'm glad that he thinks that. More power to him. He should think that. It's fantastic. But back to objective reality. Do you like the hairstyle, Andrew? I'm like, <laughs> it's, uh, you're, 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 you're really doing it tonight, bro. Am I, am I pulling it off? You need his little curly that hangs down. <laughs> am I pulling it off, Andrew? Yeah, well, well you got to, you know, you, you How do you do style it in such it? a way point, where it looks like curly. it's okay if you're wearing a leather jacket to pick your teeth with a switchblade. That's the, uh, uh, that's the key. Okay, I'll be, I'll, be I'll be back. I'll be back. So anyway, yeah, back, back to this. I'm not even trying to pitch against one another. I'm just saying, if there is an objective standard, if there is an objective standard, right, and you agree that there is, then these women's answers are not in any way credible to this I just standard, think for right? me, I'm not comparing myself to an Angelina Jolie. I'm comparing myself to myself because I don't live in a world of comparison. I don't sit and compare myself yeah. to the women sitting well, then across how do you know? from your neck. Because I compare myself to what I once looked like, look, looked <laughs> like. And didn't you say, okay, I get it, mm-hmm. but then you would be using the objective standard of the world. Right. There's so, no other way, there's no other I mean, standard. But you I'm could not be sitting using, comparing right? myself to other women. I'm saying, okay, when I look at myself when I was like 21, like I was at my best version of myself, maybe 25 best version of myself. As I've been aging, obviously, compared to what I used to look like, I am. I would deduct points from myself. But I'm not sitting here comparing myself Nashu to like Nabu any beautiful actors. Wow, blonde girl, I give you props. You may be the only woman on this channel to ever be honest with the ratings. Regardless of the other crap you said tonight, I'm gonna give you a W for that. <laughs> with a capital, it's gonna be capital W, right? So she did Sorry. She did say there's an objective standard. She uh, made sure that she wasn't uh, in any way, shape, or form a hypocrite with that standard. That's why I asked her, if that's true, can you just tell us if these women's ratings are true or false, tell us. I'm not the host of the podcast. No, you I don't, have to don't do want that. to? No. I'm Canadian. Give me a break, man. <laughs> neutral. Neutral. That goes against right, every enough, part of our enough. code. <laughs> okay. Just saying. I, I just, I feel like if you were to respond, though, that you would say that a little bit of delusion in the room, yeah. 
And by the way, I've been sitting exactly where you're sitting, and I know that on camera, all these women look way better than they do in person. I'm just, I'm just going to say, right? I've, I, that's an observation that I've made being there many times. So, that's good. That's um, good. It, are they, are they delusional? He, he's got it. There you yeah. go. Thank you. I'll send you a switchblade, bro. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very so much. So are they? Are they delusional? I think the world wants what, us to asking? compare, but I think mm -hmm. all She's not going to answer? Come on, answer. Are they delusional? Are they wrong? Canadian code. I got to live in America at least for a month before I have the balls to be able to say that one. <laughs> All right. She needs her visa. No. <laughs> I, got that. I, I got that. I'm illegally allowed to work here, but the maple syrup has to drain from my veins. So I'm not so sweet. <laughs> I like that. That's good. Mm. Mm. Good talk. We have a chat here from Brian Jones. Question for Andrew. What would you want your daughter to rate herself at? Not a 10? Question mark. Mine is always a 10. Delusional or not? from Brian with the inferior spelling of Brian. Oh, father's love. <laughs> so, um, would you lie to her, Brian? If your daughter came to you and she was like, let's say she was a little fat kid, and she came to you and she was like, hey, you know, I really want the, the guy who's the captain of the football team who's out there with Cindy Lou, who is, uh, you know, I don't know, a double D, and she's gorgeous and she has blonde hair. Are you going to lie to her? Or are you going to be like, well, you go get him, honey, because you're a 10? Or are you going to be more, a little bit more realistic? You don't have to hurt her feelings. But I would do the same thing with, a, with but maybe a, that football my boy. Player likes I'd do the that same thing with my girl. boy. I'd be like, yeah, the that shit's is... way out of your fucking league. Are you insane? But you don't know. And maybe that's what? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Let me finish. Let me finish. The question was addressed to me. Not I'm godly sure answers. You can There's get no way you're Just after that, right? Hang on a second. There's no way he's a Christian. What I'm saying, though is that, yeah, I think I would be totally honest with her about what is true, because it's necessary. You have to be honest with people about what is true. It's not comfortable. I get that. Cognitive dissonance sucks. It's not, it's not great. But yeah, I think you have to be honest about things. When I was a kid, I got bullied really bad. So did I. Full body brace. I had a shaved head, and I was in Boy Scouts, and I was getting bullied, and I went home crying to my mom, and I was like, Mom, Am I pretty? Because all the girls' moms are saying how pretty they were. Yeah. And uh, I was getting bullied, called the boy and stuff like that. And my mom's response was, you're a nice person. <gasps> oh. And, but. How did that affect you? <laughs> you know, I, I'm grateful, though, in a sense, because, like, when I was younger, oh, that hurt, like, balls. Because I was like, oh, I am an ugly duckling as I'm getting bullied. But the thing was, my mom's goal was for me to base my life off of my character as a good person and being yeah. and that's why I like got like all those oh, what the hell are those I can't even remember right now um it's some reward for being like the nice person in school uh -huh. and it was by doing good deeds and so that's what I focused on versus focusing on my looks yeah and like my hair I cut it for cancer to make a wig for kids you know Aww. so like it was Beautiful. but instead of it being about the looks and be like no you are pretty don't worry about those kids she's like you're, she's like, enough people are going to tell you you're pretty when you're older, so I'm not going to say it to you. Oh, my God. Who the hell cares? <laughs> <laughs> I had nothing to do with any of this. But moving on. Just, moving I, on. I think you don't Go ahead, Nick. Go ahead, go ahead yeah. Nick. Save us. Nick, save us. All right. We're going to make it bigger, please. Yeah. Mm, oh, I love this video. Not, not us. <laughs> yeah. Put us on the other side. All right. This is related to the leading thing. Go ahead. So I want guidance. I want leadership. But don't just like boss me around, you know? Like <laughs> lead me. Lead me when I'm in the mood to be led. So I want guidance. I want leadership. But don't just like boss me around, you know? Like lead me. Lead me when I'm in the mood to be led. So I want guidance. I <laughs> Um, by the way, that should have been in Who is this tab. guy? It's the greatest thing I've ever seen in my life. Oh, uh, it's from The Office. <laughs> oh, we should have had Andrew's reaction while that was playing. Uh, and Andrew, that was your, fantastic. your reaction to that. Uh, well, he's, com he's completely right. That's a type of nonsensical thing that uh, I hear nonstop all the time, especially when we're asking about submission, we're asking about marriage, you're wondering why so many of them fail. That's, that's actually the primary reason is because of the inconsistency in women's ideology 
and the inconsistency in how they view relationships. I want to be led when I want to be led. I want this when I want that. It's like, that's not submission. That's not marriage. It's nonsense. I don't know what the hell that is. But this is what we hear time and time and time again. And it's complete and total, from my purview, cognitive dissonance of, I just don't know what the hell I want. <laughs> and there, there's a huge and ample array of studies uh, which show that women basically all over the world, and I'm going to tell you this, right? And I'll, uh, I'll give those to Brian if he wants to show them to anybody. Basically, women everywhere are unhappy and miserable. Everywhere in the whole world. They're just never fucking happy. It's crazy. But when they're pulled, right, when they, they always have a, a lesser happiness index. No matter where. Even in the countries where they're supposed to be the happiest. They're just always fucking miserable. <laughs> and it's because... Uh, I think a lot of this feminism and westernized ideology has been exported and basically women have forgotten what their place in the world is and it's not beside a man, it's behind him. Cool. Do you guys agree or disagree? Mm. Agree? Disagree? Thoughts? That's, opinions? That's why feelings? Women are unhappy? I think if you have Jesus, you're happy. You <laughs> Period. Uh, mm. You're grateful well, a lot every of them day. They you're have grateful Jesus every day that he saved miserable. your life. <laughs> and you want to spread that to other people, and you are happy. If you're not, then obviously there's something that you need to work on. Mm -hmm. So I think you're comparing it maybe to, I don't know where you get your stats, but it's definitely not. Well, you can find them over on Rachel Wilson's Substack. She did an entire article on this explaining uh, where all of these miserable Christians who have a relationship with Jesus? What? No, he's yeah. saying just women in general because of following the yeah. feminism mm -hmm. movement. Yeah, but even if they identify as being Christians, they're still miserable. No, then well, there, I mean, there are many. There are many, right? But yeah, I mean, there are many. for me, I have had a close relationship to God for 12 years, and I've been consecutively, like, full of joy for the last 12 years. Like, I'm very happy. I'm happily married. I love my husband. I love my children. Like... You know, sure, I've had seasons, like, after giving birth where things were hard, but for the most part, I've had consecutive joy for 12 years. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, that's great. I understand what you're saying, mm -hmm. but this really doesn't address what I'm saying, which is that there's many, many people who identify as being Christians who are still, especially females, mm -hmm. seem to be quite miserable. Yeah. Right? That, they must not be following him correctly. No, I mean, oh, it's because it, oh, it's be, if wait, they had a relationship I thought with there him, was no so standard a minute ago. So it's just about like your you. relationship with the Lord. It's yeah. no standard. They're not following correctly. That's so weird. Yeah, I mean, I I've, no I've met a lot of women in the church who are very unhappy. They're negative. They're complainers, all the things. Mm -hmm. But then yeah, when I, I mean, ask them about their spiritual walk, like they don't read their Bible hardly ever. They show up to church um, and yeah, that's about it. To. So it, it's more than that. Like you should be reading your Bible daily. You should be praying and worshiping and spending time with God because the fruit of the spirit is joy. One of the fruits of the spirit is joy. And so if you're an unhappy person, then what's going on in your heart that's making you unhappy that you haven't either sought therapy or allowed Jesus to heal you from? Therapy's an L, bro. Red flag. You can find this. Therapy. It's called The Paradox of Declining Female Happiness. It's fantastic. I highly recommend that people read this so that they understand it. Um, but all, everything that you just said would still adhere to a, you know, a standard, right? So we're mm -hmm. talking about a standard. So you don't try to make your ha wife happy because she's already miserable. No, I didn't say that. It has nothing to do with <laughs> why, why? Why? How does that even follow? Can you explain the logic to me? I'm going to sit well, here patiently all, while you explain how that are, even are made miserable. sense. You're saying all women are miserable, so you don't even have to. I don't think he said all women. No, he's, no that's not what I said. He didn't, he didn't I said say that, that there is a paradox of the decline of female happiness globally, oh. and that basically everywhere you pull them, they're less happy than men. Mm. Almost everywhere. Yeah. Wait, yeah. Andrew, can I, can, in the Andrew, can I be devil's advocate here? You probably hear this retort. I feel like men are uh, as well, honest what, with Andrew, then, then how do you explain the fact that men are uh, deleting themselves at higher rates, if that's true? And they're not as honest because about they're their better emotions. at it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> they both, it, it's true. Yes. They both, actually, when it comes to unaliving, uh, women and men are about on par with the attempts. It just happens that men are so good and skilled at basically everything they do that they actually follow through Damn, this and dark. actually end up with determination, whereas women do not because they fucking suck at it. That's why, I mean, I'm not even kidding. That's they, true. They the attempts made are about equal. They just suck at it. 
Oh, I have a question for Andrew. Word. Yeah, go ahead. What about putting in a tampon? What the fuck? <laughs> Wait, actually, you know what? <laughs> that was we, a joke. I'm, I'm totally kidding. Like but men? I was just like, are you talking about like tra trans women? I mean, no, but just like... Trans women? I, just, I bet. was just like, are men really better at putting in tampons? Like trans... I think trans it's women are probably better. Yeah, I'm sure, I'm no. sure that male doctors who are gynecologists probably That's are. That's totally a joke though, like, Andrew. <laughs> but yeah, you know no, what? Yeah, a joke back. It might, it's just that mine was funny. But anyway. But actually, like... Like trans women or whatever, like right. I think they're kind of like a, better at a lot of shit. Like trans, like didn't a trans woman? Well, like, like I'll give you an example of what you're saying here, like what Brian is saying. I have yet to find a skilled pro-feminist female debater anywhere, anywhere, and I put out the call on the biggest platforms you can imagine. Killer of serial donated There's a lot of trans pro-feminist debaters who are pretty good because I think they're men. Because they're What's men. What's it about That's anymore? That's why. Could men be deleting themselves due to this message? What is the real feminist message?